Hey, physics. So this is the gizmo about unit conversions. Um, so this is not going to be a graded assignment. This is just something to help you practice. I think this is a really good um, way of looking at this, though, and, and having those line up really nicely. So check this out. Uh, so I'm going to go through the um, the worksheet with you, and we'll we'll just get through it. Okay. Um, okay. So. First question, Sarah tells Michael that she is 160 centimeters tall, while Michael says he is 60 inches tall. If there are 2.54 centimeters in an inch, who is taller? So let's do this one by one, right? So Sarah is 160 centimeters tall, and I want to cancel out centimeters here. I can't use tabs, I'm gonna just come over here. I'm gonna say 2.54 centimeters per inch. So here I'm gonna write and I'm going to underline it to show that it's a fraction. Okay, so that's all I need to do for this one. So now I am going to multiply across the top and then multiply across the bottom and then divide them. So 160 times 1 is going to be 160. Um, and 2.54 divided by 1 is going to be 2.54. So now I'm going to do 160 divided by 2.54, and that's going to leave me with, let's find out, 160 divided by 2.54. Okay, so Sarah is 62.99 inches tall. 62 points, so we could really say 63 inches. Okay, so Michael says he is 60 inches tall, so before I even do any more math, um, I know that um, Sarah is taller than Michael. Sarah is taller. Okay. So Michael tells Sarah that he weighs 104 pounds. Sarah says that she is 44 kilograms. If there are 2.2 pounds in a kilogram, who is heavier? So let's start with Michael here. So Michael is 104 pounds. Okay, and I'm going to underline that just to show that it's a fraction, and I'm going to put it over 1. Okay, so I want to get rid of pounds. So what I need to do is have pounds on uh, the opposite side of that fraction. So it's going to come down here. So if there are 2.2 pounds in a kilogram, so my 2.2 pounds is going to come here, and that cancels out pounds times one kilogram. Okay, so 104 times one is going to be 104. And 2.2 .2 times one is going to be 2.2. .2. So we're just going to do that math. We're going to do 104 divided by 2.2. .2. 104 divided by 2.2. Point two. Okay, so Michael weighs 47.3 kilograms. 47 point oops, equals 47.3 kilograms. And I know that we're in kilograms because I have crossed off or I've canceled out those pounds. Okay, so now let's go into the gizmo. So we have our questions. Um, we're gonna basically like we're looking for this is teaching us how to do this gizmo here. So what is the building's height in centimeters? What is the unit given in the question? So we're looking at this one right here. Um, so we're going from kilometers to centimeters. So the question is what unit is given in the question? So kilometers is the unit that's given in the question. And the unit that, that is asked for is centimeters. Okay, so then we have this um, unit meter on top and kilometer on bottom. And that's a conversion factor. So according to this tile, how many meters are in a kilometer? So meters per kilometer. Okay, so here's this one right here. Um, so there are 1,000 meters in every kilometer. And you can see when I drag this down to this, this spot down here, um, that those kilometers cancel out and I end up with just meters right here. So that's how I know that things are going well. So there are 1,000 meters per kilometer. 
and how many centimeters are in a meter. So I know that there are 100 cents in a dollar, and I know that there are, um, that percent is out of 100. So there are 100 centimeters in a meter. Okay, so let's look at this. Kilometers to centimeters. First, we're gonna convert kilometers to meters. Drag the 1,000 meters to one kilometer tile down. So I notice that when I did that, the kilometers canceled out and I'm left with meters as my unit. Kilometers cancel out and meters remain. Okay, because kilometers appear in the numerator, the top number of one term, and in the denominator, the bottom number, when we're talking about fractions, numerators on the top, denominators on the bottom, they cancel or disappear. The process of converting units by canceling is called dimensional analysis. How many meters are in 0.828 kilometers? So I can see that right here. There are 828 meters in 0.828 kilometers. There are 828 meters. A meter is a much shorter unit of measurement than a kilometer. Based on this fact, does your answer to B make sense? Yes. Yeah, you always want to think about this like I'm going from kilometers to meters, so my number is going to be a lot bigger or smaller, right? Like kind of had an idea of what sort of number you should be looking for. So now find a tile that converts meters to centimeters. Drag it down next to the first. What units cancel now? Okay, so we're going from meters to centimeters. Here we go. And again, because I have these on opposite sides, this one is in the numerator, this one's in the denominator. They're going to cancel out that way. And I'm left with centimeters, and it looks like I have 82,800 centimeters. So meters cancel. The unit in the answer is centimeters. And the Burj Khalifa is 82,800 centimeters. And we can click Submit and find out for sure. Correct. Okay. Uh, yes. Okay, click Next. Okay, the largest human cell is the egg cell with a diameter of 121 micrometers. What is the diameter of a human egg cell in millimeters? Okay, so the reason why we do con unit conversions is to find a unit that makes sense with our brain, like this is something we can kind of visualize. So I can visualize a millimeter, but I cannot visualize a micrometer. I just know that it's like super duper small. So what conversion tile can you use to solve this problem? We're going from mic micrometers to millimeters. Okay, I see. So I could try nanometers, but I happen to know that that is going to make it smaller. So it looks like we're going to need to do a couple of steps here. So I could go, so if, I, if it's 121 micrometers, it's going to be um, like a fraction of a millimeter. So, oh yeah, so this is the one here. So I notice when I put this here, that the units start getting really crazy. When that happens, I know that I need to flip this. What shows me that things are going right is that those micrometers, like the unit that I'm trying to get rid of, cancels itself out. So a human egg cell is 0 0.121 millimeters. So what did I say there? Millim one millimeter equals 1,000 micrometers over 1,000 micrometers. Okay, what units are given to the right of the equals sign? Um, oh yeah, so this is showing like, you have to notice that you have to flip it. Um, I don't remember what it was, let's go look. Let's see, flip. It was like micrometers squared over millimeters. So what happened there is that, as you know, we multiply across the top and then we multi multiply across the bottom. So when we do micrometers times micrometers, that's why we get micrometers squared. That's not what's gonna be helpful to us though. That's I'm just like letting you know that that's why that happens. Uh, so we got micrometers squared over millimeters. Uh, they didn't cancel because we multiplied micrometers times micrometers. Basically, 
um, when things cancel out is because it's like you're creating like a ratio of one to one. So micrometers over micrometers is going to cancel, whereas um, when you times them, it's going to make more of them. Uh, flip the tile to make it work. All right, so now we have millimeters. And we have 0 0.121 millimeters wide is how big that human egg cell is. Okay, so now we're going to turn off show result. We're going to say metric units only and distance. Okay, so turn off show result. Okay, we're going to say uh, metric units only and distance. Okay, and then we're going to say next. Okay, a caterpillar's map, all distances are marked in millimeters. The caterpillar's map shows the distance between two milkweed plants is 4,012 millimeters. What is the distance in kilometers? Okay, so the given unit is going to be millimeters. The answer unit is going to be kilometers. Kilometers, like that. Okay, so now I'm going to come over here. So... I need to go one step bigger than millimeters. So let's see if we can find a, oh, I could go right to meters. Sweet. Well, we can do it a couple steps. Let's do it a couple steps like this. So first thing I need to do, these millimeters, like whatever thing I'm trying to get rid of needs to be on the opposite side of that fraction line. So when I do that, I see that it cancels out nicely. So now I need to go from centimeters to meters. So same thing here, if I was to show the result here, I can see that I've got like a crazy looking unit there and that's not what I want. So I'm gonna flip this tile and now I see it canceling out nicely. Um, and now I need to still go to kilometers. So now I'm at meters, I wanna get rid of meters and go to kilometers. Okay, gonna flip that tile again so I see that thing crossed off just like I need it to. And now I could say show results and I have my answer in kilometers. So it is one, four thousandths of a kilometer from that uh, one thing to the other. 0 0.004, 0 0.00412 kilometers. Okay, so now I think we can go to next and we should, yes, there we go. The closest star to our sun is Proxima Centauri which is 4.242 light years away. What is the distance to Proxima Centauri in kilometers? Okay, so let's find out. So I'm starting with light years, so I need to go to kilometers. Okay, so I see light years right there and I see kilometers right there. So this might be like a one step thing. Yes, I believe that it is. Okay. Sweet, okay, so 4.242 light years is 4.013 times 10 to the 13th kilometers. And this is why we put it in light years instead of kilometers. But it's good to have an idea of like what that would be. So we're going from light years to kilometers and it is something crazy, what is it? 4.013 times 10 to the 13th. 4.013 times 10 to the 13th kilometers, meaning that we would write the number 4.013 and then we would move our decimal point 13 steps to the right to make it like that's how much bigger it is. So it's like that many kilometers, a bunch. It's like a lot. Uh, a helium atom uh, has... Actually, I'm going to stop it right here because this is going to be the 15 minutes on this video, but then I'll start up a new one and we'll do the rest of it. Okay.